Tadam! Okay, do you remember this? This is my fake Aurea. Ever since I got my um, Aurea V4, um, I've been, I haven't, I haven't used my V3, but like the original V3, even this one. So I am wondering if I can turn this into an Aurea V4 that has an open bottom. I'm going to destroy this fake Aurea and I want to see if it has, if it's going to do the same job as the Aurea V4. So I'm just going to cut through the connections here just do it um, slowly so you don't snap the plastic I fear that I might snap the plastic yeah you're gonna have to do it little by little and Try not to um, finish the whole cut in one go. Because the plastic, yeah, right now I'm, I can feel that the plastic is a bit, um, um, it's brittle. Yeah, I think it's brittle. So if you force it, it's going to break. It's going to snap. So I think you need to like do it bit by bit. Yeah, take a little bit from time to time. <gasps> I heard that. Oh, I almost, I almost, I almost. If we are successful with this, we are going to have another um, Aurea V4 that has the open bottom, like the open bottom attachment. Yeah, I, ha I have yet to do the video for that. Um, we're going to do that soon. Because I'm still enjoying the Aurea Apex. Oh my god, it's the best thing. Okay, um, by the way, I'm not encouraging you to do this. Um, I've just gone crazy and I want to do this and I want to show you. I want to share it to you. Yeah, but please don't do this. Don't do this to your Aurea. Almost there. We did not break the Aurea. Okay, now we're just going to have to like use a cutter for this. Be careful with your knife. You don't want to cut yourself. Okay, um, so for those of you who are going to be scared of the plastic being exposed, um, just don't do it. <laughs> I'm not forcing anyone to do this. I am simply showing you that you can. Mm. 
We have smooth surfaces now. Ooh. Okay, this this part needs more trimming. <laughs> hey, wow, we have a new dripper. <laughs> Now we're just gonna put this and we have an open Oreo. How crazy is that? Uh, this part needs more trimming. Now I have a new spare Oreo V4 which is the open. Um, it actually is exactly as the glass Aurea. So if you haven't seen the glass Aurea, this is, this is how it looks like. The glass Aurea looks exactly like this. Oh my God, that's crazy. Awesome. So we have a new dripper. Yeah, I wanna try if the paper is gonna go through. Yeah. I'm not sure, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if it exactly looks as the open Oreo. But yeah, I'm gonna try. Let's try. Let's use a pumpkin for this. to order more paper filter like the flat ones okay let's pour some water moment of truth <laughs> oh wow that's crazy it is sitting perfectly at the bottom. I want to I want to take a good shot of this. Look. <laughs> hey, um, I don't know what else to do. I, I think I'm going to try and brew with this. Yeah? Okay, for now, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I do not advise you to do this on your own um, dripper. But if you're liking what you're seeing, you can do it as well. <laughs> it's that easy. We finished... We finished at maybe 10 minutes. It, it, took, it took us only 10 minutes to do that. And yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's looking very beautiful. <laughs> right. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye. Stig.